Hello everybody, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be trying swoon, swoon tea. And I want to, it's zero sugar, it's a sugar-free drink, and what caught my attention is it's sweetened with monk fruit. I don't think I've ever tried monk fruit, especially as a sweetener. I know there's different types of natural sweeteners like stevia and um, agave syrups and different things like that. But um, I had a coupon for this, buy one, get one free, so I thought this is the time to try it. That's when I buy the things is when it's on sale. So this is a half tea, half lemonade, and I want to read, um, it's not on this can, I'll read the other one. Um, this says, Swoon isn't your grandmother's lemonade. Ours is naturally sweetened with monk fruit and squeezed with vitamin C rich lemons. Finally, good for you, tastes good. It doesn't say to shake on here, but I am going to give it just a little, little zhuzh. Um, okay, now I'm going to pop it open. Isn't that satisfying, the opening a can? Okay. Now I'm going to pour it out. Too much. Got to save room for the other one. Okay. Okay. What am I smelling? I have, it almost smells like bread. You know, like when you smell bread, it has that yeast smell. I have no idea. Maybe it is monk fruit, whatever the sweetener is in it, whatever that fragrance might be. Since I've never had it, I'm not sure what that fragrance is. But let me go in. Let me give it a taste. I'm going to be honest and say I don't care for it. It does say not too sweet, which unlike in the South United States, depending on what restaurants, some restaurants do sweet teas beautifully. Some make them incredibly too sweet, like you're drinking literally syrup. I don't like it that sweet. It gives me a headache. This, for me, and this is my personal opinion, it definitely tastes healthy. And most of you out there um, who are watching your health and you go the healthy alternative, organic, you're vegan or vegetarian, and you're familiar with monk fruit and what that tastes like, uh, you likely will really like this drink. And I'm not saying nobody will. It's just not to my taste. It, I just don't care. It doesn't have the aftertaste, I will say, that stevia has. I don't like um, stevia sweetener, even though it's healthy. I just don't like that aftertaste. I'm not getting an aftertaste with this, but just the, I just don't care for the flavor, unfortunately. It, t it does taste really natural. It tastes the lemon the tea but it's just not very sweet and it does say that not too sweet it's not sweet enough and I just don't like the flavor yeah I'll drink it maybe <laughs> I don't know if I like it enough to even finish what I started but anyway on to the next one the next one and okay, when I just had that last bit, it you know lemon concentrate. I caught that flavor of like the lemon concentrate and and just not much sweetness. So anyway, which I love lemon. There's no question about that. I have lemon that I squeeze on my veggies and stuff all the time. But this next one is pink lemonade. 
Now they had a peach tea, but I didn't get that because I'm not really big on peach, any kind of flavored teas really, other than just like lemon primarily. So, so that's why I got the pink lemonade instead of the peach tea. Same thing, um, it's sweetened with monk fruit. And this one has the uh, information about the founder of Swoon. Um, for us, it's personal. Our co-founder, Jen, is a type one, di type 1 diabetic, so we created Swoon with a mission to make zero sugar drinks that actually taste good. has nothing artificial. Okay, I'm going to give this a little, even though it doesn't say to shake and it may not be necessary, just in case there is any little bit of settling, give it a little shake. Now that satisfaction. Okay, let's check this out. Now this should be about the same color, even though it's pink lemonade, it doesn't look pink. Well, maybe it does. It's hard to tell on the different lighting. It looks yellow, but in the screen, it looks a little more pink than it does in, in real life here. Okay, let's hope this is good. Oh, Lord. Mm, I'm sorry. I really was hoping to find a sugar-free drink that was tasty. And again, some people that don't like any sugar, that like more of a natural flavor, y'all will love these. And and, and if you're diabetic, like, um, like the description on the can said, the co-founder is diabetic, a number of... Uh, one diabetic one diabetic my brain's foggy anyway um, I'm going to drink the rest of it I'm disappointed. I really hate that. It's just not something. That one has a little more of an aftertaste, the pink lemonade. It's not to my liking, and I'm sorry. I, it, I would still recommend if you are one that doesn't like sweet drinks, that you like more of the natural flavor without much sweetness, then I encourage you to try that, definitely. And if you're a diabetic or anything like that, that you have to really watch the sugars. Otherwise, I honestly don't recommend that you get it because you won't like it if you like sugary or sweet drinks, even the healthier versions, uh, but sweet. Um, you won't like it. And I'm sorry. I I'm really disappointed, honestly. I was looking forward to it. But I thank you for watching. Um, for your interest, for uh, those of you who comment, those who have subscribed. Um, if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to also subscribe. And I just thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, God bless.